In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 4 from Experience 5. A small regional carrier accepted 20 reservations for a particular flight with 18 seats. 10 reservations went to regular customers who will arrive for the flight. Each of the remaining passengers will arrive for the flight with a 46% chance, independently of each other. Here we have a binomial distribution problem. Let x be the number of remaining passengers who arrive for the flight. We have 20 reservations and take away the 10 that were regular customers and this leaves 10 that we are unsure about. So the number that could show up uh, out of that 10 ranges from 0 all the way to 10. And the probability that they show up is a binomial probability. So we can use the binome dist command. The number of successes is the number who show up. The number of trials is 10. The probability of success is the 46%. And then we'll put 0 to create a table for cumulative. Hit enter. And then we can create our table. So we have 18 seats, which means if 8 of them show up, then we are perfectly booked. If fewer than 8 show up, then we are underbooked. And if more than 8 show up, we are overbooked. So what's the probability that overbooking occurs? Well, this can be found by adding up the two probabilities that are red. Or by using a cumulative function. Uh, we could add up all the values of x from 0 to 8 and then subtract from 1. Remember the sum of all the probabilities is always 1, so you can take away the ones you want from 1 and that'll leave the ones... Sorry, take away the ones you don't want from 1 and that will leave the ones you do want. So 1 minus binome dist and then we'll add up to 8 out of 10 and it's 0 0.41, 0.46, sorry, 0.46, and here we turn cumulative on. So this binome dist will actually add up all the probabilities in green and the one in yellow. And those are the ones we don't want. So if we subtract those from one, it'll leave the other two in red. So that's another way to get that. Sometimes it would be the red ones, it could be 10 of those, and you didn't want to add them all up. Now with the green one, that's how it is. We don't want to add up all those individually. So we can use the binome dist and tell it to add up to 7. And we have 10.46 and then put a 1 for cumulative. And this will take all the green probabilities and add them up. And those are the underbooking probability. Okay, so those look good. We can find this on the graphing calculator using some of the same functions. You can create a table. Um, I'm just going to do sort of the shortcut version, second vars to the distribution menu, and then go to binome CDF, and you can add up to, let's see, you want 10 trials, P is 0.46, and we can add up to 7. Right? That'll give us the empty seat situation. There it is, 9683. And for the other one, we can find them individually. Just hit second enter, and you can just change that 9 to a 10. And then you can go ahead and add those numbers up. give it to you. Or you could do the other trick, the 1 minus, and then we'll add up all the ones from 0 to 8. All right. And that works.